Heim Zansi, so Senzo Meiwa's case has resumed again in the Pretoria High Court and Tokozisi Tswala is the person who started off. He has revealed so much shocking information but what he actually revealed today touched so many people more. In today's video, Tokozisi Tswala testifies that when firearms went off, everyone was so shocked and dispersed and of course revealed some very touching information I'm about to give you all. Make sure to watch this video to the end. Before giving you all the details proper, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. Tokozisi Twala, the second eyewitness who testified in the Senzo Meiwa trial, has given details about the moment the soccer star was shot and his life claimed in Voslurus. Twala was testifying for a second day in the Houghton High Court in Pretoria on Wednesday. He told the court about the scuffle between Meiwa and the first intruder, saying the firearm was quick and moments later a shot went off. Twala then went ahead to as well reveal that the shooting happened in the kitchen close to the sink but added he didn't see who shot the firearm. Twala as well revealed that when the firearm went off, everyone got a huge shock and quickly dispersed. Christian, who happens to be Kelly Kumalo's son, who was standing next to him, definitely ran towards the room. Twala said he ran outside the door and out of the gate. In his words, I might have heard a second gunshot. I can't be sure because the first one freaked me out. He said as he ran and the second intruder who was holding a sharp object chased him. The Senzo Meiwa murder trial has ground to a halt at the North High Court in Pretoria. This follows the back and forth between the state and the defense over what the state has termed inaccuracies in the witness statement that they wanted to clarify before a state could conclude to Gozisi Twala's evidence in chief. Twala has earlier this week told the court that he made more than two statements since the former Orlando Pirates goalkeeper Senzo Meiwa's murder in October 2014. According to the state, some inaccuracies were picked up which warranted the witness to clarify before he could be handed to the defense for a cross-examination. This submission was met with strong objections by the defense who argued that the state was being preemptive in its approach since the witness has not made any contradictory statements here in court which would warrant the state to seek clarity on. It is a very sad one simply again because the defense has accused the state of seeking to cross-examine its own witness, while the state has said they merely wanted to support the credibility of the witness as allowed in law. Guys, I personally feel so bad about all what is ongoing already. So, that actually explains how Senzo Meiwa was shot, but then again guys, then again, who is the one who pulled the trigger? The truth needs to definitely be out. Tell me what you think in the comments.